Numerous reports of the Mavic Mini dropping out of the sky, some of them into the sea. Manufacturer error or user error? Let's investigate and give you some tips on how not to lose yours. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On, and just today, a community member posted a video to our DJI Mavic group on Facebook, showing, unfortunately, how he had to watch his Mavic Mini dropping into the sea. The video starts watching the playback of the track that the drone took away from the coast. And you can see that at its furthest point, he was about 260 meters from the coast at an altitude of 84 meters. It's here that the problems start to arise. The first indication of issues is a warning shown in the app at the time of flight saying max power caution. Now the max power error will occur when the rotors on the drone are spinning as fast as they can and the drone is pitching as much as it can without losing stability. So for example, in the scenario here, the operator is trying to fly the drone back to home. However, despite pitching as much as it can and despite the rotors spinning as fast as possible, the drone doesn't actually move. Wind is key to this discussion here and let's not forget that the Mavic Mini is a 249 gram quadcopter. It's not Superman and it can't fly through any conditions. It also, of course, doesn't have as much power as its bigger brothers and therefore if it does hit a moderate to strong wind, it's not going to be able to fight its way through it. It's no coincidence that the drone flew its path out to sea perfectly. It's only when the operator turned the drone around to fly it back that that's of course when the drone encountered wind. When the error appears, it advises the operator to descend, so to reduce altitude. And that's because the wind at higher altitude is stronger. The operator also commented that he couldn't feel any wind and that if you look at the boats in the video, they're barely moving. But that's because at 84 meters above water level, there's going to be different wind to the wind that you get at sea level. And of course, you also have wind gradient, whereby the wind direction at one altitude can be very different to the direction at another altitude. We can see in the video that the pilot scrambles to try and recover. It's only when he eventually drops altitude to about 50 meters that he actually then starts to get the drone coming back. The reality is that as soon as that max power error occurred, the pilot should have immediately descended down, even to just above sea level where he knew there wasn't much wind. And then it's likely he would have returned his drone back to home. There is, however, another very important observation. If you look at the very start of that flight when the track starts, the battery is already down to 61% on the drone. And that means that the batteries are not gonna have quite as much power as they do at 100%, and it means that as you start to drain those batteries, the power depletes further. If this operator had a fully charged 100% battery at the start of that flight, they may have had enough power to regain the control of the drone and bring it further to home at least, if not to home itself. But what happens next is hard to explain, and this may be a firmware or a hardware issue with the Mavic Mini, which hopefully can be solved by DJI very quickly. A number of Mavic Mini users have reported this max power error, and not only has it resulted in them losing their drones on a flyaway, but also an uncontrolled descent downwards. And that's what happens next. Despite the operator's best efforts in giving throttle up, the drone starts an uncontrolled descent. By uncontrolled, the drone is still upright and functioning normally in terms of the camera and the gimbal pointing nice and steadily forward. But the drone does not stop descending. There's no indication of a critical battery or automatic landing but it just plummets downward towards the sea. This does not look like operator error and it's very, very sad to see. Hopefully this operator can pursue this with DJI on the basis that this looks like a defect. It could indeed be connected to the max power error and perhaps after experiencing the max power error, the Mavic Mini decides to go into some kind of fail-safe landing. Who knows? Some have blamed the props fitted to the Mavic Mini as the cause of these issues. Apparently when the Mavic Mini is stored, the props can get distorted and that can cause problems. But also, if you look at the instruction manual, it does clearly state there that when you break or damage a blade, you must replace both blades attached to that motor. It seems that the blades are balanced in packs of two, and that's probably why you should always replace both blades, not just the one that's damaged. 
It also states in the instruction manual that you mustn't mix and match blades between the packages. So this is an important lesson learned perhaps and may be the cause of this issue. The operator also included some cached video and it's a sad sight to watch any drone dropping into the water but there's another key point here. You'll notice in the shots of the drone the altitude means that it's just over the cap of some of the mountains in the background. That might be the reason why the operator couldn't feel any wind because the coast down there was shielded by the height of those mountains. With the drone being above 80 meters, it's above those mountains and therefore is not necessarily protected from the gusty, potentially rotor wind that's gonna be coming over the top of those hills. As mentioned, the operator did do some Googling and found some other cases. We've just looked at one of them and for example, the problems lie in the operator's management of his drone. He took off at 42% battery. That's half the battery already depleted. And when he then took his drone 1,683 feet away from himself, he would not have a clue of the wind over there. And it's most likely exactly the same scenario that the drone simply couldn't get back. It failed to return and it dropped down into the country side somewhere. So how to avoid losing your Mavic Mini? Here are the key take home points. Fly with 100% battery from the beginning. If you've already had a flight in the day and you've already depleted that battery, don't fly the rest of it. Put that battery on charge and install another 100% charged battery because it gives you that buffer zone to get yourself out of problems like here. If you see that error, overload or max power, descend because generally the wind lower down is not as bad as the wind up there. It will give you more of a chance to get home and hopefully save your Mavic Mini. If you try and fly your drone back and it doesn't make progress because of wind, try flying side to the wind instead. What I mean by that, instead of flying directly in the direction of you as an operator, try and zigzag instead because that can allow you to get out of wind. And the final tip, don't fly the drone so far away from yourself. In the last example, they're a couple of hundred meters away, which is a substantial distance for a tiny little 250 gram drone. They're the tips and if you stick to them, hopefully you won't lose your Mavic Mini. But I think this does highlight a fundamental problem in that people are flying the Mavic Mini as if it's a full-blown Mavic or a Phantom. It's not. It's a super lightweight drone that is only really there for selfies and close proximity of shooting a video and photos. So be careful with the Mavic Mini. It's a delicate little thing but enjoy it. Fly safely folks, comment below if you've had similar experiences, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.